What's up guys, Supergeek here. Today I'm going to tell you how you can install Android 13 on your Moto G60 or Moto G40 smartphones. So both of these smartphones launched last year in 2021 and these smartphones comes with Android 11 pre-installed. So while these smartphones got the Android 12 update a few weeks ago, Android 13 update is going to be available soon for both of these smartphones. So now you may be thinking why I'm telling you to install a custom ROM for Android 13 when the official update is coming soon. So there are a lot of reasons and let me just list a few of them. First is of course this is an AOSP custom ROM so you will not get any blotware on your smartphone. You will get a really clean user interface and no blotware whatsoever. The second reason is of course the pixel exclusive features that you're going to get with this custom ROM. And apart from those features, the UI is also going to be really pixel like. So if you like pixel smartphone but you can afford them, this is the custom ROM that is going to give you the about the same experience as a pixel smartphone. Now there are more reasons to install this custom ROM over the official update but you can only got to experience them when you install it on your smartphone. So if you're convinced enough, let me tell you how you can install this Android 13 custom ROM on your Motorola smartphone. All right, so the installation process is pretty simple. All you have to do is unlock the bootloader of your smartphone, flash the custom recovery that is available with this custom ROM. By the way, custom ROM zip package and TWRP custom recovery image file is available to download from the description. And uh, once you do that, all you have to do is flash the custom ROM and reboot your smartphone. You don't have to flash any additional zip packages with this custom ROM because Google Apps are already included with this. Now if you want a step-by-step -step guide to install this custom ROM on your phone, then there's an article on supergeekweb.com. I'll leave a link in the description to that article so you can go there and read the guide so you make no mistakes while installing this custom ROM. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked the video. Hit the like button, get subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.